Hello everyone. So today I wanted to share with you um, the cards that I created for a card swap that was hosted again by Dina from Crafty Crafts by Dina. And, um, you know, this was part of the Facebook group. So if you are part of, um, you know, the group, you could participate if you wanted to. So if you haven't joined it, I'd encourage you to go and visit it um, and join her group and also check out her channel. She has a lot of ideas and things to do but um i wanted to make a little box for my cards now i know it was a christmas card swap but it didn't say if it was gonna be one or how many so i just decided to make a little set um and i think most of us are making a, at least a few you know more than one but if you're not that's totally fine you know just trying to make one card is it's awesome to receive something in the mail so i guess that you know that's what it is for the holidays to get that smile but this is what I came up with. So uh, I'm going to show you my cards. And I made this little box. Um, and I just put like um, stamped here. And I like when it's a little bit distressed and it's not all in there. But, um, you know, it's my first time making something like this. But I think it came out real good. So I just used some ribbon to tie it. And then the inside holds the cards that I am going to be sending my recipient. So I made her a total of six cards. Now I didn't think quite through but when I was making a little tag for the card that I am going to be sending her which is this card um, this is the card I created for her where I am going to write my message um, for her so this is her card and then the rest of them is just you know the swap that we're doing or part of the swap but I was making a little tag to put into the box when you know when I wrap it together and I'm like you know what I can make a couple more so I made a couple more tags for her and I'll just, you know, stuck him in there. But I had some of these little critters that I colored and, uh, you know, that they'd be cute to use. Maybe she could use them for, like, some little kid gifts or, you know, even adults. I, I'm an adult and I like little baby animals and whatnot. So I made her those little tags. And then so here's the cards that I made. And I met, I tried to make them to look like a set. Um, so... They do kind of look like each other. So this is just, you know, plain box. Doesn't have anything else. But I think it looks pretty cute. But, uh, yeah. So let me show you um, the cards that I made. And I tried to pick, you know, I mostly go towards traditional colors. So I use those, uh, you know, same colors throughout the cards. So here's the first one. And this is just like a little tag. I did glue this in there. Um, this is, uh, I put foam tape in here to pop up the poinsettia, which I think makes it look really cute. And then the inside is blank. I just stamped the poinsettia there as a second generation stamp because I didn't want it to look so dark. Um, the next one is this card, and this is a top folding card. Doesn't have anything in, inside, it's blank. Um, so it just says wishing you joy. And, you know, the little ribbon. And I always put a handcrafter or handmade on the back. Um, so that way, you know, the recipients know that, yeah, this was a handmade card. But you can kind of tell, you know. Um, there's this other one. And this one was part of one um, that I had created. And when I was going through my colors, I said, you know what? That will go perfect with this um, set. So I included it in here. So that's another one. And then there is this one. So... Here's another one of those little reindeers. Um, you know, use some ribbon and sequins for this one. Again, the inside of it is blank. Um, so most of this I did leave the inside blank. So that way she could stamp her own greeting or write her messages if, you know, she's going to use them. Or she can gift them if she wanted to as well. But, um, you know, that's what I made. So this one is another one I just kind of created a snowy scene with the reindeer flying through. Again, that one's blank inside. And then this last one, um, just says Merry Christmas, but some glitter, uh, iridescent glitter um, embossing powder. And then just some die cuts that I had made here. And on the inside, I just put this little holly. But um, so this is my cards for my card swap. I hope that Jeannie likes them. Um, I don't know if she watches YouTube or not, but she is on Facebook. So I'll be posting this on Facebook as well. But I will wait until I have mailed it and she receives it because I I don't know. But I don't 
I don't know about you, but I don't like ruining surprises. So I don't want to post this and, you know, chance it that she sees the video or she sees the pictures before she actually opens it. So the surprise not going to be as, as great. So it's just uh, the anticipation for her getting it. But this is, a, like I said, this is the cards that I created for my swap. I had a lot of fun creating them. Um, I love making cards and I hope that she really likes them. And I thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully, hopefully you got some ideas on, you know, some cards to make. Um, they weren't really hard at all. Um, they did take a little bit of time, you know, just putting them together or thinking through it. I know my, by the end of this, my craft tra table was a mess. <laughs> but, um, you know, I start with a big space to, to work with and I end up with nothing. <laughs> but anyway, I had a lot of fun. Thank you for stopping by and hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.